Hi, I'm Diana Monford, the world's first transgender television journalist. Uh, and my guests are two 9-11 first responders, Shane, the singer-songwriter whom you know. She does our show all the time. She's very popular with both you and here at the studio. Everybody likes her. What you don't know is that, I mean, you usually see Shane as a glamorous entertainer. She was a police officer and was a first responder to uh, Ground Zero during 9-11. And my other guest is Mr. T.J. Gilmartin. He, too, is a first responder. He um, might be ill, I believe. I am ill. I am retired uh, with lung, lung problems and, <coughs> and um, GERD and all kinds of breathing problems. And I'm, uh, I'm on disability and I'm totally retired. And, that, and he's still a comparatively young man. And that is thanks to 9-11. And I am now going to just hand the floor over to whoever wants to talk about his or her experiences. I'll talk about 9-11. 9-11 was a time that um, those planes hit and everybody was running out of Manhattan. A group of guys ran in, middle class working people, firemen, cops, and construction workers. Okay, they spent a lot of time down there and they did what they had to do. Fast forward to 2003. Guys started dying. Men, men that ran marathons, emergency service cops that ran marathons, um, ended up passing away, and all kinds of people. Uh, I think we're a little less than a thousand right now that have died since 9/11. That's not on 9/11. It's since 9/11, and they're all dying of funky cancers that you've never even heard of. And the government kept saying, oh, no, there's nothing wrong, there's nothing wrong. Well, finally, we got them to admit there was something wrong. Scientists found all these chemicals and all these oddball things were in the Trade Center. Um, and then they gave us uh, a law called the James the Drug Act. It was an act first. Then it became law when Obama signed it. Jimmy Sedroga was a cop who, a detective who went to 9-11 and spent months on that pile. And he died in 2006, you know, from all kinds of lung diseases. So they named the bill after him. Well, all the men thought who was sick and all, finally, we finally have gotten some kind of just do for what we did. Even after everybody died, you know, the government finally acknowledged that there was something wrong with the air down there when we were there. So, next thing happens, any man that had to sign up to be part of this 9-11 Zedroga bill to get medical coverage, all the names were checked at the time, it was 13,000 guys had signed up, and every one of those guys' names was checked against the terrorist watch list. They didn't find one terrorist. Okay. Well, as we're still going along, still going along, we had a fight then. After we got that bill, we had to go another two years fighting. Now, these are, all, these are sick guys. They get out of their hosp out of their beds with their respirators in there. Excuse me, inhale. were they hoping that these people would die and then they wouldn't have to pay them? No, because the money does go to their families. Mm -hmm. They are entitled. S but I. But how much money are we talking about? I mean, how can they compensate you for <coughs> your life? You know? They they will compensate you for the time you got sick and retired up until when you're 65, when you could have collected. Um, Social Security. So if you're retired at 40, you have 20 years of salary. That's what they're giving you. They're not giving you a lawsuit. It's compensating you for your lost wage. Your salary at that time, and they just keep the amount the same? Or no, do they give they, you the cost of living? They, give, they give you the cost of living. Like I work for a union. I was a shop steward for a high-rise construction. 
I was with the Cement Masons Union. And we get a $3 raise every year. So that was figured in to the calculation oh, of well, good. what you get. But, but, they're only giving you 10%. The bill, the bill is a five-year bill. In 2016, the bill started, took effect October 2011. Right. December 31st, 2016, they're promising us the other 90%. But you seem cynical about their promises. <laughs> <laughs> they told us the air was good down there, yes, originally. They they so really well, didn't Christy Whitman, the Christy governor Whitman. of New Christy Whitman. Jersey? She should be locked up. She should be locked up. Because she lied? Yeah. I mean, we do all... Do you think she knew, or do you think she sincerely believed that the air was good and they lied simply her, made a maybe. mistake? Um, I, I don't know, but I do know from all the fighting that I've done for 9-11 responders <coughs> and all the testimony we've had in front of Congress and in front of federal commissions at the federal building in New York, it has come out there were air monitoring <coughs> stations set up all around ground zero. And they knew the air was bad. Maybe not the first day. <coughs> Maybe not the first day. But, you know, that's ancient history now. I mean, what I would really like to talk about is how 9-11 has become a money-making <coughs> machine for candy companies. How so? Mm. What, so like, you know, building seven bars or something? No, no. Actually, 7-Eleven, around 9-Eleven, has little breath mints that say 9-Eleven. And it's got the American flag, and it's from some company out in Wisconsin or something. That's one. That's one part. Then you have fraud. the frauds. This is the worst part. The frauds. That's so sick that people would... You have a group of guys. And women. Women. Well, at least I know <laughs> some of them. <coughs> I'm coughing in sympathy. I, I don't know why I'm coughing, you know. The, there was a red fire truck. This is, this is how the government... The government has been asked, please, law enforcement, from the sick responders who are retired detectives, mm -hmm. firemen, and construction workers. We've asked the government, please do us a favor. Take care of these frauds. We know who was there and who wasn't there. Okay. Well, they you used walk to that beat four months, especially a mile radius, and you're walking from their, the firefighters or their blue tarps or, or right. end to end, you, you, you're constantly saying, how are you? Do you need anything? Or did you get sleep? Are you drinking? Are you hydrated? You know who was there. You know who wasn't there. Constantly, you just knew each other. There, were, there was, there was a, 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 red, a red pickup truck <coughs> that ran around for 10 years. And it said FDNY on it, and it said uh, the Ground Zero truck, and it was in gold leaf, and it had all 343 firemen's names on it. Well, eventually, people realized this truck, these aren't legitimate firefighters. One was a pedophile who had been locked up for... But was he a firefighter? No, no, no. Let me continue there. We got this, we caught this truck. Okay. Jimmy Zadroga's father, Joe Zadroga, God bless him, mm -hmm. was down in South Jersey. Uh -huh. And here's the <coughs> truck, and he called me. And they, what the truck does is it sells T-shirts, and oh. it begs for donations, saying we're sick responders, we're collecting money for 9-11 sick responders, and we're going to give it to them. Well, lo and behold, the truck never did give anything. Okay, well, we got a picture of the truck. We got it to civil court for being um, a donation company, and it's not handed over money. They were convicted in Jersey in civil court. Mm -hmm. They went to confiscate their two hundred fifty thousand dollars that they had in the bank from selling T-shirts, and they had emptied it already. 
No, they're practiced con Now, artists. Suppose, mm -hmm. supposedly right now, at the time, there's going to be a criminal prosecution of them. How can you find them? Right. I mean, th oh, no, no, no. They know where they are. I mean, we know, I know where they are. One's in Manahawk, and one's mm -hmm. up in Palm. Do you know their names? Yeah, uh, Nim Nimchek and Scaglione. Those are the last names. Anthony Nimchek and Mark Scaglione, I think, or it's Mark, whatever. But there, w there was other guys that were with these people. There were, there were guys, I'll tell you a real fast story. There were two guys from South Jersey, Charlie Giles and a Richie Skinner. They had convinced everybody that they were first responders. They convinced the Port Authority that they were first responders, and they asked the Port Authority to please donate a piece of beam to the town of Barnegat. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, Mr. Giles... When the Port Authority gives you an authentic piece of the World Trade Center, you get a certificate of authenticity. Okay. Well, Mr. Giles, lo and behold, takes that piece of steel to his house in the red pickup truck. Remember my first story? Right. Okay? These guys were all tied together. He turned around, took that piece of steel to his house, cut pieces off it, made a hundred copies of that certificate, had a mail order business for shirts, World Trade Center steel, and World Trade Center dust, and he would give you a certificate of authenticity. Sort of like uh, a piece of the one true cross. Exactly. So. Well, what can we do about all this? Uh, what can we do? All uh, these criminals, these crooks, what, are trading what on people who died. And what we want to do is. Like I said, it's a, their money. They're going after the sick responders' money. Well, what can we do to stop them? We get the name out there. Let people know that 9-11, it was a dozen years ago. But there's a lot of suffering still going on. I mean, for a Much of it comes after the fact. After the fact. And it's for... Years a, later. Right. And it's going to be... Wait till asbestosis and methylthemioma has a 20-year lag time. So in 2021, you're going to watch another group of guys dropping dead. Like Giuliani, Bloomberg, etc. They could. Uh, uh, you, know. Um, you know, these guys, I mean, these guys have gone down to Delaware collecting money. They stand in front of 7 Eleven. You mean the real ones or the fakes? No, ones? the fakes. Nimchek, Scaglione, Giles, Skinner. I give you another name, Tommy Faye from Spring Lake. These are all people that have. Have have put out stories over the ten years, and they're all contradictory stories. One he was there on the on the day of the eleventh. Is it possible that they're insane and delusional and think they really were there? Yes, they do. Oh, well, that's you know, but that's not my problem. My problem is still the criminal. Legitimate first responders. There is a minute amount of money to take care of these people. Mm -hmm. When you take a fraud that's going to try and take that money. Delusional, you know what then? If you really don't want to hear what I would do, I would take that delusional gene out of the gene pool right. and get rid of it. Me and you know, uh, well, I didn't say that. But you know, <laughs> I had. But basically, you know, I mean, these guys belong locked up. They've all been. Shouldn't they, they be in insane asylums? No, they, they should be locked up in jail. You had to be cleared when you were dispatched. You had to be cleared. There was a clearing system. I have my badge right in there. I could show it to you. It says 911 right on Listen, it. Listen, I'm With I'm your photo ID. I will, yes, I know, and, I know about all that. And the government and the people, the powers that be, they knew what we were up against. They knew. They should have come to us and said, what do you need? Come in. Why didn't they do that to us? Why didn't they say you should have had proper equipment? Why didn't they, you why know are why? They treating you so badly. I don't get that. Right now, mm -hmm. the Department of Justice is trying to do as can to catch the frauds. If you be, if you become part of the but 9 why don't they treat the real ones well? Why don't they say whatever you want, whatever you need? You did so much for us. Here, take everything. Take money. Take health care. Take vacations. Do you take know? Beautiful clothes, I don't know. Take jewelry, take I don't money. know. I don't know because I turned around and that law was signed in January of 2011. It's now two and a half years later 
and out of 18,000 first responders that were at ground zero that have registered for the Zadroga bill, 53 have gotten letters of what they're going to get paid. Um, well, what are they going to get paid? It, that's, it, that's a variable. You know, different people will get... Why would it be different, depending on the extent on of the On the extent of injury, on how much you made, on how much... How much you made before 9-11? Like, it's, it's, it's a continuation of the fund. Remember when Ken Feinberg was paying the stockbrokers' families that were killed in the Trade Center? Remember those people were all getting money? Well, on the street where I live, on East 88th Street, someone... Derek Sword, who uh, was with Counter Fitzgerald, died. That was very sad. Correct. So his family got money from Feinberg originally. Well, they were Scottish. He was from Scotland, and he was going to be 30 that November. But they, they, um... It's uh, Shane has her badge. She's going to show us. This is what it would look like. Can you uh, get a close-up of that? It would have 9-11 on there, Port Authority. Mayan says SISM, Critical Incident Stress Management Team. I was a team leader at the time. 9-11 is over on this slide right here, the, the date. So when you responded, I responded on that date. And there's my signature. You were fingerprinted. You were cleared. You were... Um, but getting... That, that's exactly right. But getting back now, and I when you sign up for this bill, which only goes to October mm -hmm. 3rd, We'll know if they're trying to get the money on the COVID. You have to produce two affidavits from a witness that you were at Ground right. Zero, and it has to be notarized. I have a friend named Guy Sanders who was most definitely at Ground Zero. He has uh, a photograph of himself at Ground Zero with a colleague, also a first responder. Uh, he cannot prove that he was there. Uh, he's trying to. And John Feel, a friend we John's all have in common, mine. right is helping him and he will prove that he was there but when he took this photograph to the government and said well here's this person in the photograph with me they said well where is he a guy said well he died of cancer and they said oh well you know they're telling guy well we don't know that you got cancer we believe that you were a first responder but after all that was 12 years ago how do we know you didn't get cancer just because it's your destiny but going, going back to this, uh, I'll use Charlie Giles from Bonnegat, New Jersey, as the example. He ran for 10 years all over the country. He got a free trip to the Indianapolis 500, everything paid for. He ran around America with that red truck, with them in the red truck, and himself. And they collected money saying, made up this big story that he was crushed in the North Tower, and he was dragged out by a Port Authority sergeant, even had his number and all. People would, were giving money, okay? Vice President Joe Biden's cousin got him a proclamation down in Delaware, had all the people in Delaware coming out giving okay, him money. But, uh, but what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is, after the fact, when we looked into it and we talked to that Port Authority right. sergeant, none of this story is true. It's our fault it took us 10 years to realize the guy was a fraud, but now, that's one example. What do you want? Bottom line, what, what do, do I you want? want? Respect. And Stop stealing the valor. Like, another fraud, I'll give you. Vinnie Foros. Uh, uh, okay, but what do you... Uh, frauds galore. We, what, all, what we responded to help New York get back <coughs> on its feet. That was our mission, and we to get our nation back on its feet. And we, we did whatever it to took. Help That's our fellow man. This is the fiber we are. You know, we went down to help our fellow man. That's we are now all dealing with disease, we retirement. So you want some kind of compensation? It's rightful compensation. The compensation mm. is coming, but what we want is why the do we stop. have to police. This system. Why do we have to? Why are they treating you so bad? We have sent DVDs. We've sent affidavits. We've sent to the and nothing is ever done. Why are they treating you so bad? I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. And sometimes you think you know they wish political, you you, you feel like that they wish we were all would just go away. Go Why? Away. Don't know. It's Is it because maybe the 9-11 thing was a put-up job, was an inside job, and maybe some of you might realize that? No, I don't, I don't think it was an inside job. 
unless unless the U.S. government hired them out of those two. Well, they say that there were the plane could be controlled from the ground, and nah. no matter what happened, they were going to crash into that. I, I honestly no. If that I I don't believe that. In well, my opinion, I don't believe that. Now, do you have cancer? I have nodules growing in in my lungs and in my thyroid that last October were not cancer, but they had grown for three years in a row, and they're right to the point before they would turn into cancer. And so that, can they get rid of those? Can they operate on you? Yeah, they'll take lobes of your lung out. And that is because of September 11th? Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. I mean... Do you have kids? I have three kids. Three kids. They're, <coughs> down, in, they're down in Georgia. Why Georgia? That's another story. Okay. That's another. The wife. Right. The wife ran away with. Uh, so, yeah, but that's another story. But Boy, you get all those pregnant. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. She's dead though. She died. But um. Well, God fixed her. Yeah, that's yeah. There. Carmen does work around, but we need help with this. And and it's n the people that are dying of cancer. I'm lucky. I don't know how I'm alive. I deal with survivors' guilt every day. I can't believe that the, the people I activated and dispatched. I felt like it was my fault for the longest time. I have pains and all, all kinds of spasms in my, my stomach because of the toxins, and I had two and a half years of chelation, which is like chemo, three times a week. Hours and hours in that chair, sitting there, and with all the side effects. I go for counseling and therapy so I can have a good night's sleep because this doesn't go away. I don't know what's going to happen to me. Um, but I just know that there has to be help for the ones that are dying of the cancers that they contracted when they were at the mound. That's what's more important, not this case. Reach out and help these people. Do you mean help, financial help? Do you mean medical? New cures for cancer? Uh, a better diagnosis of as yet undreamed of cancer? If they have it and they know of it and, and they, or maybe it's not a cancer, they're calling it a cancer, maybe it's just a reaction to the toxins they ingested like myself because I have like gadolinium and all these different things and uh, that they said I would never come in contact unless I was working in a smelting uh, factory where there Let me ask you a question, both of you. If you had to do it over again, would you? Yep. Yes. We're rescuers. We respond. Tell us when and where. Knowing what's happened to both of you? Well, I think I'd ask, do I need equipment for this? I... But they lied. They said, oh, no, 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 the ear's fine. Well, I... Don't worry about it. I got feeling... This, you know what? This whole thing was an isolated case. It was so horrific and so big in magnitude. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Okay? My sister had a house in... Bell Harbor. My brother had a, one of the burnt down houses in Breezy Point. Mm -hmm. The minute that hurricane hit, I was with Monsignor Brown in St. Francis de Sales working for months. Never left. To help the people? Yeah. yeah. Why are they so nice to Sandy people and so bad to September 11th people? I forget that. Why are they so nice to Haitian people? Why are they so nice to Egyptian people? Not Nothing against these people. Why are they so nice that all this money goes overseas? Why can't they take care of their own first? Why aren't they? Their own went to take care of them when they got hit. Mm -hmm. well, and I, that's, uh, I, don't, I think to my dying day, I'll never get an answer to that. Never get an answer to that. We had to force Bloomberg to, to thank us at Ground Zero. We had to force him. He should have given you money. Thanks. I mean, thanks uh, a lot. Thanks for nothing. Give me the money. The yeah. so politics made politicians very, very rich. But, it but it's destroying the world, not just in our nation. It's worldwide now. I didn't go down to ground zero looking to help people and say, oh, I want to claim there's a Democratic body. Right. And there's a, I'm not touching that right. one, but there's a Republican. I'll pick that one up. Oh, and oh there's an independent. I don't know what I'll do about that one. Mm -hmm. And we didn't go looking to go, oh, this is a lawsuit. We're not made of that. Yeah. But, you know, I think that the, 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 the government lawsuit, knows When you get money, they're doing. giving us 10%, and then you're going to have to wait for the other 90%. I mean, forget that. Everybody has, the responders are losing their houses. They're losing their families. They're losing their health, and they're losing their Did lives. Did your wife leave because you were so stressed out by what had happened that, you, that it damaged your marriage? Um, that would be PTSD, which mm, I have too. No, 
No, I, I, I won't, I won't, I won't throw that one on 9/11 because before 9/11 happened, we were fighting before that, before it even happened. So I cannot, you know, it didn't help when after after the fact, mm -hmm. you know, that when I came home after that and icing on the cake, right? Right. But are you afraid, afraid of the future? No, I'm not afraid of the future. Of dying? No. Of dying a slow, lingering death from cancer. Am I afraid of it? No, I'm not afraid of it. No, I'm going to have to deal with it, you know? Do you think that's going to be your destiny? Oh, I would most... I'd, put, I'd write that in stone. Just like all the rest. Do you know when? Do I know when? No, I don't know when. I go October for my, for my uh, yearly CAT scans and full medical. Shane, are you afraid? Um, I go to counseling. Um, I have a therapist I see every week for all my feelings about everything. I don't have a place for any of it. It's just so big. It's so huge still in my, in front of me. My, like I said, my music was my therapy. It gave me one outlet. So for a moment, uh, my body isn't racked with pain. Uh, there's nothing you can do. You can't complain about it. They don't have a cure. Um, and I don't want to be on chelation therapy the rest of my life. I stopped that after two and a half years. So I, I don't know. I pray to God, and he gets me through it. And I'm um, still me under that. But I just, uh, I think it's just so huge. This whole thing is Teacher, so huge. Excuse me, do you believe in God? I guess I do. Um, why did God let this happen? I don't know. There's good and evil. Maybe it's the devil. I have one thing that I came up with because I... We only have a minute left. I think he, he let us all live and didn't end it there to allow others that are trying to get their life right that just didn't turn yeah. on that right side a chance to join us later. Okay. And, and my guests have been... Change their ways. My guests have been uh, singer-songwriter Shane, who in her previous incarnation as a police officer was a first responder on September 11th to Ground Zero, and the fabulous Mr. T.J. Gilmartin, Thank you. a first responder who's been outing fraudulent first responders and who does a great deal for other first responders. Yes. And uh, um, we're almost out of time. Anyway, uh, Thank I love you, you a lot, and I will see you next time. And even if no one else loves you, I love you. So you take good care of yourselves. And contact John Feel of the Feel Good Society, right? Foundation. Foundation. Uh, it's on the Internet. And that's it. Thank you.